hi guys welcome back to the commentary girl channel i have not been on youtube in forever i've been in hospital for the last two weeks so i haven't been able to cover things that have been going on on here now that i'm back i am really happy to just jump back into everything now as you can tell by the title of this video i am going to be reacting to micah's apology slash her speaking out that she posted on Instagram. So I haven't seen anything, I haven't read anything, so my reaction to whatever she has to say on her Instagram will be raw and real and yeah. So four days ago, Micah posted a four page screenshot apology slash this is what I have to say about everything. A message on her Instagram. Now this is followed up by James Stoffer posting on his YouTube channel, which got a lot of views obviously, but a lot of people were mad in the comments. A lot of people were mad and there was like rumors about him breaking YouTube law by fronting a giveaway by making people pay for the giveaway, which I guess is like sort of illegal and that you're not allowed to do that on YouTube. Coming off of all of that, she has made a, her response on Instagram and yeah, let's get into it. So she first says, I want to first off apologize for the uproar and take full responsibility for all the hurt that I have caused. This decision has caused many people heartbreak and I'm sorry for letting down so many women that looked up to me as a mother. She goes on to say, I'm sorry for the confusion and pain that I have caused. And I'm sorry for not being able to tell more of my story from the beginning. I could never have anticipated the incident which occurred on a private level to have ever happened and I was trying my best to navigate the hardest thing I have ever been. I apologize for being so naive when I started the adoption. I was not selective or fully equipped or prepared. Right off the bat I have to say that I find it extremely shady but I find it extremely sad that the first people that she is addressing right off the bat is not the boy that she has traumatized or that has now that has to live with like trauma now it's definitely for the uproar like she's apologizing to us for being mad and she's apologizing to the women that look up to her and she's right you know a lot of mommies a lot of people watch these youtubers who adopt children they watch these videos and they look at these people as gods and they look at these people and they think oh my goodness these people are so amazing I want to be just like Micah. I want to like speed clean all the time and feed my kids and adopt the kid from Congo. You know, it's so awesome and welcome. Yay. So a lot of people do look up to her. She's right on that part. But I just feel like it is unfair for her to not include the boy in her apology because I feel like that's who the apology mainly should be for and not to us for getting mad at her for doing what she's done if that makes sense and then another thing she says she says um I could never have anticipated the incidents which occurred on a private level to have ever happened and this was pointed out prior to the first video that they made as a couple where they were talking about hey we want to respect his privacy but at the same time they were alluding to stuff happening in the house and I feel like she's once again sort of throwing him under the bus you know when she says I could have never anticipated the incident obviously we don't know these people we've never been in their homes we've never been with them for like a full 24 hour uh, run like big brother or anything so obviously if you say incidents that have occurred and anticipated and you use all of these big words it makes it sound it makes it sound like this boy was so out of control and he was hurting your other children so obviously our imaginations are now running wild and i feel like in that sentence right off the bat she threw him under the bus one thing i'm gonna give her props for is that she does uh, apologize and she does like acknowledge the fact that she was naive in this adoption process she really genuinely thought she was just gonna adopt this kid and he was just gonna be perfect even though he he, she knew that he had health issues she adopted this child hoping that he was just gonna fit in whatever box she was trying to put him in 
and obviously that didn't work so i have to applaud her for the fact that she acknowledges the fact that she was naive and she didn't think things through as much as she should have so she goes on to say i received one day of watching at home online video training and gained my haug adoption certification which was required by my accredited adoption agency for me i needed more training i can't say i wish this never happened because i'm still so glad that the boy is here and is getting all the help that he needs now first of all i have such a huge problem with this because she says in the multiple videos that they made leading up to the adoption they talked about the fact that they were so prepared they were talking with so many professionals they were seeing so many people they were doing this they were doing that which all alluded to the fact that they would be ready to receive this boy and be able to care for him she even used her nursing experience as a nurse as a registered nurse i don't know if she's registered anymore or not but she used that as a way to basically say that she's got this and that it's easy and it's going to be great and then part of that i have to give a side eye to the adoption agency because if the adoption agency is literally giving couples children off of watching one assessment video that to me is insane how many more kids are in homes where they are being neglected maybe not being taken care of maybe not receiving the best care that they can receive because the only thing you needed to do to get your certification is watch one video and i feel like this is another way of her throwing other people under the bus like what and then she says for me i needed more training which is true you definitely needed more training micah i can't say i wish this never happened because i'm still so glad that the boy is here and is getting all of the help that he needs i dislike this statement so much because yes foster care is not the best place for children to be yes being in an orphanage versus being in a family where you have security where you have endless amount of food and you have all of these securities that you wouldn't necessarily get in an orphanage or in a group home although like those benefits outweigh being in an orphanage i don't like how she's coming across as if she saved him because what she did to him is 10 times worse than him potentially growing up in foster care. I mean, if we think about it, the possibilities are endless. How many couples are actually adopting children and not doing it for YouTube? How many people are offline adopting children because they want to have kids, because they want to take care of kids, because they want to give these kids better lives, you know? And I feel like she and her husband took that opportunity away from a couple who could have been very loving and very, you know, good for the boy. And instead, they took him out of his home country. And you guys, you have seen, you've seen my other videos on this. Right after he arrived in America, she didn't have anything from his hometown or his home country that was familiar for him. She didn't have like meals or stuff or snacks for him, for him to just feel secure she basically switched everything language she cut his hair literally right when he got to america and there was so much trauma involved in that and then after two years of having him and you know now he has all of these siblings and everything she disregarded him and she just gave him away so i hate the fact that she says that she's glad that he's here and he's getting all the help he needs because one she never wanted to give him all the help that he needed two like you can't say that you can't say that like i feel like he was better off living in his home country with people who are dedicated to the profession of helping him instead of being shipped around to another country from family to family and possibly you don't know where he is right now you don't know if the people who have him right now can handle it you don't know if the people who have him right now are genuinely good people or is it just something that's on paper you know god forbid that he's obviously in an unhappy home but you don't know those things and i feel like he was better off without all of this trauma how do you move from having four siblings to just being an only child somewhere like that doesn't make sense how do you as a five-year-old rationalize why the fact that you don't have four siblings and two parents anymore all of these people that you called your mother your father and everybody else 
all of them are gone gone and you just have to rationalize that and keep it moving like it's nothing and that's unforgivable like there's there's no way there's no way so i hate the fact that she does that she continues to say i also know that even though he is happier in his new home and doing better that he is still experienced trauma and i am sorry no adoptee deserves any more trauma i wanted to help so bad i was willing to bring home any child that needed me for this i was naive foolish and arrogant yes i'm glad that she's acknowledging his trauma because right after if all of this exploded a lot of people who've been adopted and adoptees especially adoptees from china to america were speaking out and sort of sharing their stories and there's a lot of people who were abandoned as well by their adoptive parents and you can see like this trauma follows you your whole life because all of these people are literally adults and they have so much trauma and so much unresolved hurt and stuff to deal with and it's crazy so i'm glad that she acknowledges that but in the same sentence how is she lying and saying that she wanted to bring any child home to help like that's not true during her adoption process like i know these videos are no longer available online but i've done extensive research and i've watched these videos and you know these clips of her saying she specifically wanted this boy she saw his picture and was demanding more footage of him more of his pictures even though they said hey like if you can't make up your mind right now there's other kids to view as well she specifically wanted this boy who had all of this um medical issues and all of these things so she specifically sought him out and if you are saying that you just wanted to bring a child home and give a child a home then you would have taken the first child that was put in front of you she didn't do that she was asking for pictures trying to see if he could fit into her cute instagram lifestyle if he could be a great prop for everything so i don't even believe that so yeah let's let's stop with the ba i wish so bad i would have been more prepared and done more i wish the decision to disrupt never had been made adoption and all special needs are amazing and i have a ton of respect for every adoptee i'm glad that she's acknowledging these things you know these are the things that they should have spoke about in their initial video as a couple but they didn't they just chose to be ignorant every adoptee an adopting parent and special needs parent i look up to you in a million ways and i'm sorry for hurting the community in any way their channel started growing because of their adoption pay, uh, adoption journey so i feel like they watched other youtubers do it um there's a lot of youtubers i watch who have adopted children and by looking at the youtube videos it doesn't seem difficult life does not seem difficult life seems so easy and so great and what you're forgetting is that that 10 minute video is not 24 hours a day and i think maybe that was her biggest mistake was thinking that it was going to be so easy to integrate an entire human being from another country who is non-verbal into your home so they were definitely naive in that regard so yeah and then she says lastly to debunk a couple of complete rumors we did not adopt a child to gain wealth while we did receive a small portion of money from videos featuring the boy and his journey every penny and much more went back into his care getting the boy care and service services he needed was very expensive and we made sure he got every service and resources we could possibly find secondly we are not under any type of investigation i'm hoping to share more of my side of the story soon and lastly i'm so sorry for letting you down i also want to mention that moms need a safe place to ask for help when they are struggling no questions asked we love him and know that this was the right decision for him and his future praying that he only has the best future in the entire world um i don't like this dishonest chat that she has i don't like the fact that she's saying that they only made a small amount of money from having him on youtube and sharing his journey on youtube because we all saw the stats before obviously the content was deleted 
we've seen how their channel grew from regular just a stay-at-home mom doing like cleaning stuff to hey i'm adopting hey i'm doing this hey i'm picking out names hey these are my clothes for my adopted son hey my adopted son this and there's been a bunch of videos like i've shown you guys in my previous i think three videos there's even like screenshots i have i've had of her where she's had thumbnails talking about like what she eats in a day and she'd have him in the thumbnail because she knew that that's what people wanted to see so i don't like the fact that she's lying about that fact that it's like they didn't make that much money off it because that's basically what happened and a lot of people that have been subscribed to them that were speaking out and everything people were saying that mostly they were only subscribed to see this boy grow to see his journey uh to see how he was flourishing obviously um with his adoption and everything definitely that is a lie do i think that they gave 100 percent all of the money that they've made off of youtube back to the boy and into ensuring that the boy has now great premium care absolutely not i do not believe that micah is the same person that refused to spend 500 dollars on therapy she chose to spend 70 dollars on therapy instead of 500 dollars on therapy for her son so i'm not gonna believe that you know she's the same person that said that's a ridiculous amount and i feel like as a parent you want the best for your children and if you can afford to pay five hundred dollars uh for a session of therapy then you're gonna do it and by the looks of him from all of the videos from last year he was doing really really well he was flourishing he was really up there and you know almost to say living his best life so i feel like that is a bit dishonest and i don't believe it but then again that's my opinion that is not a fact that's just how i feel about that i highly you know doubt that definitely the them being on youtube them putting his life out there on youtube has propelled them to some financial status being able to move into these fancy homes and do all of these things but you know if they say it's not so then i guess that's what we're gonna just have to go with another thing uh i've noticed is the fact that she said she's hoping to sh share more of her side of the story it makes it sound like it's just internet drama it makes it sound like somebody lied about her on the internet and then she's just gonna come back with another rebuttal which is crazy ridiculous you don't have to tell your side of the story you just need to pack it up close out close those youtube channels get a regular job and take care of your kids like that's what you need to do like why is she saying that she still needs to tell her side of the story like this boy they've been vilifying this boy since every statement that they, they have put out since the beginning so i don't really like her tone or anything in any regard that she's talking about so i don't like that and then lastly her apologies again why is she apologizing to us you shouldn't be apologizing to the people that are outraged you should be apologizing to the boy whose life you've basically ruined like imagine being five years old and not knowing where your family went and just overnight staying with strangers like how is that okay and i feel like we can never let this go micah and james stoffer can't come back to youtube like they can't they cannot they cannot come back like everything is great because everything is not great what you did was a horrible horrible thing and i think payment for that would be for them to just go away because what they did was horrendous like this is not this is not someone saying hurtful things and apologizing for them this is someone's life that they ruined you know this is somebody that has to really start over with trust and rebuilding and start getting to know people all over again and and, and try to trust people after having like issues and anxiety and separation anxiety and all of these things now we have to he has to start over and cultivate all of those relationships and he's only five years old like how ridiculous are you so no i do not feel sorry for micah i do not feel sorry for james i don't believe in their sincerity i feel like james coming back the previous week and then micah now releasing statements i feel like they will soon come back to youtube i feel like she will soon come back 
upload videos and carry on with life normally because obviously she has her fans the people that love her obviously a lot of people that don't see an issue with this and that are quick to forgive her and i feel like that's fine if you want to forgive her and if you want to watch her youtube channel and if you want to contribute to you know the back of that little boy you can do that but on my side i feel like this need like they need to hang it up it needs to be done and they need to go away because every time i think about it it's just so sickening sickening and it's just it's really unbelievable but anyway guys tell me what you thought about this video of me reacting to micah's apology slash speaking out and we will see each other in my next video bye